Are you tired this morning from staying up to watch your team play? Where are they at? Are they on the bubble? Well, Selection Sunday is right around the corner. We are keeping you in the know when it comes to your school. I'm Lauren Shahadi. What's going on? Well, the Oklahoma State Cowboys were coming into last night's game with the Aggies feeling pretty darn good after knocking off number one Kansas over the weekend. They were projected to be a seven seed in Jerry Palm's latest projections. The Aggies, though, taking it to them, got the win. So now Oklahoma State falls to 20 and 9, but entering last night's game with an RPI of 27 and an SOS of 27, the Cowboys still have a good case for the dance. Over in the Big East, Notre Dame continues to make a hard push all without their best player, Luke Herringote. Heading into this week, the Irish were one of Palm's first four out, and UConn was one of the last four in, even after their loss to Louisville. That may all change now. Notre Dame down the Huskies last night to improve to 20 and 10. Entering last night, they had an RPI of 68 and an SOS of 56. Both a little high, but if they continue beating top teams, they will be in. UConn, on the other hand, falls to 17 and 13 with an RPI of 46 and that strong SOS of 2. In the ACC, two more bubble teams squaring off against each other last night with the Seminoles handing the Demon Deacons their fourth straight loss. Not exactly the way to improve your resume. The Seminoles now 21 and 8 with an RPI of 41 and SOS of 54, looking pretty good. The Demon Deacons, on the other hand, now 18 and 9 with an RPI of 30, an SOS of 34. They need to get things going. They're going to make a push. Staying in the ACC, Virginia Tech might be the toughest bubble team in the entire country. They have a good-looking record, 22-7 and after their win over NC State last night, but with an RPI of 52 and SOS of 133. Those computer numbers, not very strong. Heading into this week, however, they were one of Palm's last four in. Mississippi State came into the week as one of Palm's first four out. They look to improve their resume come Selection Sunday. Who doesn't, right? They visited Auburn last night and could not get the W, falling to a now 500 Tigers team. Mississippi State now falls to 21-9 and on the season and heading into last night's game. Their RPI was 55, but with an SOS over 100. That's the problem there. Things not looking good for the Bulldogs. Over the, in the Atlantic 10, two bubble teams went head-to-head -head with Charlotte battling Rhode Island. Rhode Island projected to be an eight-seed Charlotte is one of the first four out. And after a dominating second half, Rhode Island picked up the win to improve to 21-7 and while Charlotte drops to 19-10. and Rhode Island seems to be a pretty safe bet for the dance as of now. But Charlotte needs to regroup after their five losses in their last six games. They need a strong run in the A-10 tourney to have a chance. What about Conference USA, you ask? Well, the UAB Blazers looking to make their record look even more impressive, but it was not meant to be. They fell to Memphis last night, dropping their record to 23-6. and UAB has a solid RPI of 34, but with that SOS of 109, they need every win they can get. And we've got games tonight as well. Surprise, surprise, A-10 action. Dayton travels to Richmond with both teams looking to improve their resumes. ASU hosting USC, hoping to keep their slim tourney hopes alive. And Ole Miss will host LSU. That is your Bubble Watch. We will be here every weekday morning. And don't forget, here is your Selection Sunday schedule. Get excited. The Big Ten Championship will be live at 3.30. Your CBS Sports Selection Show is at 6 p.m. Eastern. Looking forward to that. At 7, your CBSSports.com bracket breakdown. You will not want to miss it. Stay tuned to your March Madness headquarters, CBSSports.com. I'm Lauren Shahadi. We'll see you soon.